With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. If we talk about this question, this given question is three particles of mass 10 gram each are placed at the corners of an equilateral triangle which is having a side of 5 cm. The moment of inertia of the system about a perpendicular axis to the plane which is passing through a corner of triangle will be and we have to find out in kg meter square okay so let me consider an equilateral triangle let's say this is the equilateral triangle okay and there are three particles the first one let's say is here okay which is having a mass of 10 gram again second one is here which is again having a mass of 10 gram and the third one is here which is also having mass of 10 gram okay now we have to find out moment of inertia about axis passing through one of the corner and perpendicular to the plane so let's say this is the axis now for this is let's say first particle this is second particle this one is third particle so moment of inertia about this axis will be given by m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square okay this thing we know now since the perpendicular or the distance of mass 1 from the axis is 0 so this first term becomes 0 m1 r1 square becomes 0 since r1 is 0 now moment of inertia is basically m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square so moment of inertia mass 2 is of 10 grams so this can be written as 10 by 1000 in kg into r square now since distance from x is is 5 centimeter this particular distance is 5 centimeter and this particular distance is also 5 centimeter since this is a equilateral triangle so this can be written as into 5 by 100 whole square now why i'm dividing it by 100 because i am changing centimeter into meter plus mass 3 is again 10 so i'm con converting it into kg similarly distance is again 5 so this is this will be 5 by 100 whole square so what i will be getting i will be getting moment of inertia as 2 times of 1 by 100 into 25 divided by 10 raised to power 4 okay so this can further be written as 2 into 25 is 50 divided by 10 raised to power 5 okay not not five six it will be six so this one zero will cancel out with this one zero so overall i will be getting five into ten raised to power minus five kg meter square as the moment of inertia for this particular system this is the moment of inertia so the correct option is option four and rest all options are incorrect i hope you understood thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than five crore students download doubt and app today